Hey everyone, it's Dave, and uh, today we are going to art direct a piece of artwork. Um, the purpose of this is to help you kind of understand like what kind of artwork is out there, um, how to art direct your own artwork, but also the most important thing about this particular piece is that we want to make sure that we're not getting too hypercritical about our own art. So um, this particular piece comes straight off of the uh, MTG Arena uh <clears throat> game client and this is a piece of artwork that it was submitted for magic the gathering um now keep in mind that the original artwork was intended for a small uh, card so we're talking about like a two two and a half inch piece of artwork very small uh and so what works for a small card may not always work for large size so when we're art directing we want to keep in mind greatly uh what the intended application is so we're going to keep that in mind as we go through here, but I wanted to point out a few things that maybe you might be a little bit hypercritical in your own work and or maybe want to pay more attention to in your own work, just so that way we can objectively look at this piece and learn how to art direct our, ourselves uh, in, in future uh, work. So um, this again is taking oops, this is taking directly from the uh, MTG arena This is a screenshot. Um, so as we zoom in, there's a few things that I'd like to point out because I think some people sometimes are a little hard on their own work uh, in that way. And uh, we're going to be a little bit hypercritical just so that way I can confirm you're seeing this in your own work or maybe you're not or maybe you need to. Um, but some of it is just fine, again, because <clears throat> this piece here was cropped out and shrunk down. And when you see it in a tiny card size, so it would be like this shape here. Uh, it looks really good. It's very clean. It stands out. It looks wonderful on a small print. But as we zoom in, we're going to see some of the flaws that are in here and why maybe the artist chose that or things that in your work you might decide to change or look for. <clears throat> so the number one thing, and again, this is not to be elitist or anything like that. So um, keep that in mind the entire time that I am being intentionally a little hypercritical uh, for the sake of art direction. So the first thing I want to point out is we're going to look at the edges. Look at the edge work on the character. We have a lot of very jagged edges. A lot of very um, sharp uh, and very pixelated jagged edges on, the, on these pixels. Let's zoom in a little bit more. See what I'm talking about. Now you might say, well, it's a low res uh, image capture. And you'd be probably right about that. But even at the high res version of this artwork, uh, these edges are very apparent when you zoom in. Uh, in a lot of cases, again, once you're printing in small, it is completely unnoticeable. You can't really detect it. But the reason why I point out the edge work is, see, look here, there's some pixels just kind of dangling in and out. And over here, they're, they're more faded. So the artist had some very hard edges over here, very soft edges over here. And that would be good and fine in some pieces, but it's very inconsistent around the entirety of the piece, as we'll see. Another thing that we notice, again, um, is some of these low res textures that we see in here, on here, uh, over here. You'll see some of the pixels get really broken up and jagged. And that, though, is actually in the artwork itself. And I've seen the high res version of this artwork up close, and that's just the way the artist created it. And the way we know for a fact that it's that way is we look here where they try to create some dimension out of this texture that they applied. See the shadows they applied in there? Um, and I'm going to use more of a magenta color because I think it'll stand out a little bit more. Yeah, so see, like, see those shadows? So they tried to use this texture on here and give it some shadow so it would pop a little bit more, which is a great technique to do. But in this case, you know, it's incomplete. It's not consistent across this, this textured piece. Uh, we're also going to note some of these little like tangential lines here. These look to be like maybe lines that didn't get erased or cleaned up, which we'll definitely need to note that the artist absolutely intended to keep a lot of this noise in here. There's a lot of intended noise in this picture uh, to give it texture, to give it a little bit of form, and that's perfectly okay, but we're gonna see some of these little bits here that could have been cleaned up. Not to say that the artist intended for it to be cleaned up, but they could have been cleaned up. Um, as we'll see, like some of the, the edges, like right here, this probably could have been a little bit cleaner. 
Uh, these edges could have probably been a little bit better defined instead of the, this weird hard blue line. Um, but it, but the art director still said, this is perfectly okay. And we notice also, like, see, like on the fingertips, these are very soft lines, but the artist intended this. So that way you would keep your focus up here where it matters. So these are the hardest edges and the areas where it matters least are the softest edges. So that's actually a really good intent by the artist. Some of the other things that we want to note is like, see, we've got like a little trailing off line here, a little trailing off line there. You can see where maybe the artist had um, a little bit more heft into it's actually a line here. It's discernible, but it may have been a little bit more heft to this robe and it was partially erased out. Um, and again, the artist may have very well intended it to be that way, to give this a little bit more tooth. Um, but I feel like there are some steps in here, like, like I said, the low res texture work and things like that, that may have been overlooked as an art director. But the important thing to note is that out of all of this, when you look at it at, at its intended size, it's very good work. It's very clean. The balance between uh, contrast is excellent. The play with colors is very vibrant and alive. Um, overall, like if I was an art director, I could nitpick this thing to death because there are little things like that, like these just kind of like weird shapes to, that they use to kind of create the shadow work. Um, it feels very disconnected from a lot of the other work that's been done on here. But ultimately, um, the reason why I'm sure Wizards of the Coast, and they're very strict on their artwork, they only want the highest quality. The reason why they okayed it is because it's perfectly okay. The intended output, this is perfectly okay. And so when you're working on your own work, it's okay to not be so hypercritical. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that you could zoom in and say, oh my gosh, like look at the shadow. It's way different than anything else on here. Or look at the way that they did this line work. See that orange, how it kind of like vibrates against the other colors. Oh man, that's, that's, that's something else. And then look at these kind of like quasi highlights or shadows that don't really fit within the context of the rest of this work. It's okay because when you zoom out and you look at it as a whole, it works, it flows, it follows together. The artist clearly did a bit of a photo bash on this here, and that's why we're seeing some of that low res, but it looks cool. It, it plays really well. Um, so again, as much tearing apart as I can do, I, I can go come up here and go, oh, you know, this, this could have been rendered out a little bit more. Um, we could have seen maybe a little bit more of this eyeball that's kind of being covered up by this texture, but that's not the point. So don't be too critical about your work because you want to you want to judge it by the, to the the sum of its parts, not the individual bits that you can get hung up on. I mean, like this little like kind of like semi shadow that makes a little bit of a tangent right here above the arm, um, it, which may have been like an erased part or it may have been part of the, the texture from the foliage that just didn't get addressed. And that's OK. Um, because, again, we can nitpick every little bit. I'm sure if you went across you know, a lot of the masterworks out there, you're going to find little bits that you can say, okay, well, that could be better. But that's the entirety of, of the point of art is that you judge it by its totality, not its individual pieces. And everyone has room to grow. Everyone has a little bit extra that they can do. Um, but when you look at it, does the piece give you joy, a sense of satisfaction? Does it excite you? Is there overall a sense of happiness with it? And I think that I, if I was the artist of this piece here, I would feel that there's a fun kind of quasi modern digital kind of feeling on like a um, arcane looking elf. And I think that's really cool. And the colors are bright and vibrant and fantastic and something that you would see more in like a like a cyberpunk kind of work. And they applied it here to this arcane looking elf. And I think that that kind of combination plays well with the low res textures. It plays well with the really sharp jagged edges. It plays really well with the um, kind of like almost cookie cutter style um, background layers. It, 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 it all works very well together. I think it speaks very well to the piece together. So when you're doing your own work, don't get hung up on the little tiny bits of minutia because there's going to be people like me, for example, right now, that can and will pick your work apart. That's going to happen. But if you're satisfied with it and you've done something different, unique, and speaks to what you could do today, not in the future, not 10 years from now, when you've had more practice, if you've really done something that speaks to what you can do today, 
I'm sure that you'll find that your work is much better than you'll ever give it credit for. Um, but do keep in mind these little things because this is how you do improve. This is how you do get better is learning to look at these areas that you can improve and will improve in the future. So um, take note of areas like this, but take pride in them as well. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys some you guys have some happy drawing in the future. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Also visit me on twitch.tv slash Dave Holland Art, my website, dave-holland-art.com, and reach out to me through my Discord or other social media methods. Uh, all of those should be in the description below. So we'll see you guys. Enjoy your painting and have a wonderful day. We'll see you. Bye.